Well, I'm a trained carpenter and upholsterer lawyer. And I was about 35, my life went really down. And my marriage was no good, so that was all over. So I was thinking about when I was a kid, I started spinning. Hit the drink. My mind and my heart and, my, and everything in my life was spiraling out of control. And all I wanted to do was kill myself. I really did. I used to go to the railway bridge. I found myself walking up there all the time, find out when the train comes past, hit the line just before the train, and I'll be history and I could be free from all this anger and all this frustration in my head, like, you know. But then I learned, learned about the Compton um, Gardens. And I started on a Monday, a bit jumpy, didn't, didn't know what to expect, you know. Just on that first day, I didn't say nothing, but I walked away and said, cool, I, thought, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I loved it here so much. Just blew my mind away with nature. That's how it's been ever since. It really made me realise what I'd actually got in life. That's how I feel at the moment. This place gives me a reason to get out of the house. I won't go to the gardens. So as a kid, I was used to just kind of living in an urban environment, not dealing with nature, not really appreciating the beauty of nature. Lived pretty much behind the railway. There wasn't much greenery around at all. We did have a patch of grass at the end of the road. So me and my friends used to go out and just kind of kick a ball around. Once that got boring, there was nothing really much for us to do. We ended up going back inside, playing video games. That's kind of how I grew up. When I met Dan, my husband, he kind of took me outside a lot more. So I was starting to appreciate nature and when I realised kind of the effect it had on my mental health and how it really helped me. When I was at kind of my lowest ebb, I came across the Recovery Academy and I self-referred on to this course. Very nervous on my first day. I didn't really want to get up that morning. I really struggled getting out of bed. I knew I'd be meeting lots of new people, lots of new faces. And that really, really petrified me. Once I actually got to the hub, to Coventry and Warwickshire Mind, just stood there waiting for the minibus to arrive and the nerves really kind of set in. But as soon as I saw the bus turn up, saw Martin, saw Jackie, knew everyone was really friendly, that kind of really settled my nerves. Then you had the ride to Brandon and I was just kind of staring out the window, all the tower blocks, the ring road, everything. That was kind of where I felt safe and I was going somewhere that was a little bit out of my comfort zone. All the nerves dissipated really. Sat around the campfire with everyone, just learning new skills and making new friends as well. That was really important. So by the end of the day, I felt like a different person really. I was a lot more confident, uh, looking forward to the next week. and I couldn't imagine spending my Fridays doing anything else now. I 
suffer with anxiety and depression. So I was thinking about dark places like suicide and stuff. And since Country Mind and Warwickshire Wildlife Trust come together. I heard about the team through the Recovery Academy. To learn loads of stuff about the environment and how important it is for people. Um, I think the first time I came, it was a bit difficult actually getting out of bed first of all, getting in the car, driving here. I sort of sat in the car for a bit and I was like, oh, do I go? Do I sort of pretend that I couldn't make it? The, the team, they're absolutely perfect people, honestly. They do so much hard work. But by the third session, I was jumping out of the car early and hanging around by the gate for everyone else to turn up. I am a volunteer, a key member and a buddy for the team. Uh, I'm here today on a bushcraft day. The bushcraft courses have done a lot of good with people. And I think it's an excellent way to learn about nature and how to survive in nature in a way, in a little way, like not in no SAS way. Like. I think it's a really good experience for anyone. I've done things like Viking knitting, I've learned about fire lighting. Day. You wouldn't expect it to be sunny, but it just comes through and it makes everything look so different. It's really nice. <laughs> this has got me to learn loads of stuff. It's affected me so positively. My parents, my family have noticed the difference. They say now the children look at now and are happy. I've found a new appreciation for the environment and it's done a lot for me, team. You know, it's given me confidence to be a buddy so I can talk to people and see that they're doing okay. I'm a city girl, and in terms of my mental health, it's made me a lot more confident. I've made friends, I've made new friends today, which is even better. I just think of the positive things I can do. It just feels perfect. Absolutely perfect it feels. Come on, everybody. Not doing anything yet, are we? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. Oh, answer. okay. <laughs> Okay, is it on now? Mm. I, can't, I can't think of the words to express how much better I feel when I come outside. It's just everything, there isn't a feeling like it. You know, to walk free in nature and to breathe fresh air. Uh, without that, the, the situation um, concerning my uh, mental health condition would de deteriorate rapidly. Yeah. And I love how people, the last 18 months with lockdown, meeting friends where I would have gone to their house, or would have gone for a drink, or have a coffee in town, and I'm saying, you know, come walk with me. And whereas before I might have been slightly embarrassed about saying, come out to nature with me, you know, of my age group and the mums, you know, and they love it, you know, having wonderful walks all around green spaces. Well, I just found over the last few weeks particularly, because like with the lockdown and stuff, um, everyone being at home and, um, or working away and I'm used to being a bit more on my own, doing my own thing. That's got to me a bit. Um, coming out here, you, you just get a, a sense of calmness. You know, I do a lot of watering down here, the spring and the summer. It's essential, really. You know, the environment's so beautiful, like with your birds singing and at the moment you've got blossom on the trees and the birds are, start, the birds are starting to open into leaves and uh, I just I find it very therapeutic. It's just a really good environment to come to, like you know, it's like a little oasis in a in the city, like you know. And actually, my kids do it now. So if I'm obviously stressed, my body language, my verbalisation, whatever, they'll all come up to me, and be like, "Do you want to go for a walk, Mum? Just me and you, or 
Why don't you why don't you go outside with a cup of tea? Sit in the garden for five minutes, you feel better. Having five minutes with a cup of tea in the garden rather than sitting outside makes a huge difference to my world and just stopping and I've got a lovely bush just behind the back of my garden and it's full of birds and I can't name half of them but actually listening to them and watching them go about in their busy daily lives and pausing myself and being still in that moment is so lovely. It really kind of just quietens my mind in a way that nothing else does. I started suffering from really bad depression uh, during the lockdown but being able to come down here and just hearing the birds meeting other people that are interested in nature, um, planting things, digging, just all these things, that they, they really, really help. And it's just just really peaceful. Like it's, it's like being in a different world for a few hours. Put flies in my stomach, which you, I get, uh, you know, I do, when you get anxiety, obviously you get that sort of feeling. You don't get that when you're out and about places like this. You know, that disappears, which is really good. when I come outside. It doesn't even matter about the weather, it's just being outside in, in nature, looking at wildlife. It's better than any antidepressants I've ever been on. Um, it just helps my, my well-being, my, my moods. Any dark thoughts I might have, makes me feel so much better.